Hi, my name is Mark Brosens. I'm a producer on The Agenda with Steve Pakin on TVO. And today I'm going to be speaking with Sheldon Forgette. He is the Deputy Mayor of North Bay, Ontario, and at 23 years old, he is one of the youngest currently serving Deputy Mayors in Canada. Thanks for joining us, Sheldon. Yeah, thanks for inviting me today, Mark. Okay, so different people get into politics in different ways, so can you tell us a bit about how you got involved in politics? Um, well, I, uh, I basically grew up, uh, life was tough, my mother was a single parent, and uh, basically politics interests me because I wanted to make the world a better place and make you know, our community a better place to live and easier for people. Uh, live and whatnot. So uh, I was attending uh, University of Ottawa political science courses uh, as a drop-in student and that's kind of how I started getting interested in politics. Um, yeah, and it went from there and kind of just grew from there. I started reading books and watching uh, parliament uh, sessions and yeah, that's how I got into it. I find that a really fascinating part of your story because I think a lot of people have a perception that Canadian politicians come from privileged backgrounds and like you came from a house that you know had to use food banks from time to time and so that kind of flies in the face of the perception that people have of you know politicians in this country being old money well connected types uh, yeah. so what do you think your success in politics say says about those perceptions? Um, well, a lot of people do have those perceptions, and uh, you know, it does it does take money to get involved into politics. Uh, you could always start with without any money, but uh, it's it's really difficult because uh, without the finance part of things, it's hard to run a, a successful campaign. And uh, but I think uh, with me, it'll make me more grateful for the position that I have, and it'll. Uh, I'll be able to make decisions based on my past history as well and, you know, keeping in mind, you know, people with who aren't so fortunate, you know, and I think it'll be a good thing, so, yeah. North Bay elects their deputy mayors slightly differently than some other Ontario municipalities do, so can you help us understand how one becomes the deputy mayor of North Bay? Sure. Uh, in our... Uh, in our bylaw, basically, the, the councillor with the most amount of votes um, becomes the deputy mayor and also gets to decide which committee they'd like to chair. And uh, I finished uh, the campaign with 8,098 votes, which uh, was quite a bit ahead from the next person underneath me. And uh, yeah, basically, from there, you get, you get to become deputy mayor. Why do you think you got that much support? That's quite a few votes that you got. Yeah, it was uh, it was my first time running uh, for office, and uh, I I decided to run starting January second. That's when I filed my paperwork. I ran a, a ten month long campaign, and uh, I think that's I think that was important because I was a newcomer to politics to run such a long campaign because it gave me the time to build. Uh, the relationship with our city that I, I needed. Um, like throughout the 10 month campaign, I built relationships with our police department, fire department, uh, senior management at City Hall, uh, union workers. I built relationships with Rotaract, Rotary, Kiwanis, uh, members of the Liberal Party, the NDP Party, Conservative Party. I built relationships with so many people, and uh, I think that. I think that really helped me out. Up until this point in this series that we've been doing, where we've been speaking to young people involved in municipal politics, we've only been speaking to councillors. And councillors are really important, they have a lot of responsibilities, but at the end of the day, they're just one vote on council. The yeah. flip side of that with you is that you're the deputy mayor and you're the budget chief, and you have all these really important responsibilities that you have to execute. So I'm wondering, how do you go about preparing for those tasks, considering that you had never been on council before? <laughs> That's a really good question, Mark. Um, so it's a lot of uh, preparation. So like we had our first council meeting, our first regular meeting of council this week, and I prepared, I was probably preparing with staff two hours prior to the meeting, just going over the whole agenda and just knowing as much as I could possibly know for the meeting. 
and I was super nervous for that uh, first meeting. But and I was, uh, how do you say, I was really shy the whole meeting. But apparently, I spoke more than more <laughs> or just as much as everybody else spoke at the table. Um, and I think it's because I was prepared for the meeting. So I just really have to take the time to prepare for the meetings and. Uh, you know, responsibilities of a deputy mayor and budget chief are, you know, they're pretty heavy. Uh, I've got a budget, uh, I got about a $120 million budget, you know, maybe $150 million if you include, uh, if you include the capital budget as well. So it's a pretty uh, large budget and uh, there's a lot of responsibilities that come with that. And if for whatever reason the mayor something happens to our mayor, hopefully nothing does happen, but if something does, I have to step up to the plate and become the mayor of the city. Um, so I have to carry around um, basically an emergency plan booklet everywhere I go. It's in my car everywhere I go. So if there's something that happens, uh, you know, uh, for example, the events that happened uh, during 9-11, you know, I have my emergency plan book with me and I know what to do in case something ever happens to the mayor and I know how to leave the city if I need to. Um, I've also had to take in mayor's training just in case you know, that situation ever does come up. So yeah, a lot of responsibility, but you just got to take it one bit at a time, I guess. Yeah, that's something I never thought of before. Um, you know, all politicians to a certain extent are amateurs, right? You know, you have public administration courses and you have political science courses, but once you actually jump into government, probably your first time being involved. And so, you know, when you take like a training class, like you said, um, who does that? Is Are there organizations out there who try to help municipal politicians be good at their jobs or is this done by North Bay? Like, how do you actually do those preparations? Yeah, so a lot of the preparation uh, has to do uh, with working with your city administration. So learning and knowing what's going on at City Hall. Um, and then uh, AMO, which is uh, basically uh, uh, it's a municipal organization that for Ontario, uh, they offer training courses and they have uh, consultants that know these types of things and have taught these kind of things uh, geez, for decades. So they have these consultants come in and they help train you. Uh, so that way you can do your job effectively and to the best of your ability. You picked a really tough job by taking on the finances. Uh, North Bay is a city that I believe has a $2.2 million deficit at the moment. And I wonder if some people in town would say, shouldn't we have a councillor who has more experience taking on this role? And uh, if someone would say that to you, what would you say in reply? So our deficit grew to two point four million over the last month or so. And that's just projections as of end of September. Um, but your question is is whether experience plays a role, right? Yep. And uh, you know it, you need to be experienced when it comes to finances. And uh, I I bought rental properties when I was 15 years old. Um, I come from a poor background so I've had to work, I've had to budget, I've had to save, I've had to invest. And uh, I think that because I have the experience from buying my rental properties uh, at the age of 18, I think that I have the experience of working on a very successful board here in town, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, you know, we have it's not a it's not a 150 million dollar budget at Big Brothers Big Sisters, but it's a a 300 thousand dollar budget. You know, and we've been very successful there. Um, I think that those kinds of things really help. Uh, help bring bring me up to speed on certain things, and I understand the financial lingo to a degree because I've had to buy rental properties because I deal with banks on a regular basis with those uh, properties. So, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I'm someone who likes to budget things safely and have more than enough, and come in under budget and budget under budget, and then come in at the end of the year with a deficit. For our last budget, we decided it's an election year. We're going to have a really low tax increase and make everybody happy. Well, you know, we we did that, and now we're at the end of the year and we're facing a 2.4 million dollar deficit, and it's not a good news story at all. 
So I rather budget safely and have enough in the bank and not have enough at the end of the year. But when and for someone starts a new job, there's probably something that jumps up and surprises them that they just weren't expecting. So being the deputy mayor is a new job. So I was wondering, has anything surprised you about your new role at this point? Uh, yes. First of all, I'm surprised that I got the role. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's the finances part that has surprised me. I'm just, I'm just shocked that the deficit's growing, right? And, and that we didn't have a more uh, responsible budget for the year 2014. Um, I'm surprised and shocked of how much personalities play a role at the table. Um, every councillor and, and mayor and deputy mayor, we all have different personalities and they all, uh, they all affect things, but I, I think that there's some people who have very poor personalities and very poor traits that don't really mesh well with everyone. Um, so that kind of surprises me a bit. Um, I guess that's politics, though, right? So just learning how to how to maneuver around different people and how to get the votes that you need at the table, because uh, in order to pass something here in North Bay, you need six votes at the table to get something passed. So trying to work with eleven different people is really hard because they all have different opinions. Yes, that's politics, and that's also life, right? So uh, thanks very much, Sheldon. Uh, this has been great. Wish you a best of luck. That's Sheldon Forgette. He is the Deputy Mayor of North Bay, Ontario. Thank you, Mark. Have a good day.